Well, hate crimes are on the rise tragically across the nation, up more than 6% in 2020 from the year before. But experts worry the actual number could be much higher because so many go unreported. So what's being done to target the most impressionable among us, our kids? I took that question to Valley Schools and parents to find out. I absolutely love it. It's not something they're graded on, but it's the most important lesson of the day for these Dobson High School students. What kind of difference do you think you're making in the lives of your classmates? I think we're opening their minds. And they're doing that through World of Difference peer training, a program for students by students, teaching young adults to highlight and celebrate the differences of their classmates while honoring their own. Everything doesn't have to be hate, and we are more similar than what we think. They're doing fun activities that seem really fun on the surface, but they're really digging a little deeper. Kim Kled is the program's advisor and also spearheads the school's No Place for Hate initiative, a program that's becoming increasingly vital. We have seen an increase in hate crimes mm -hmm. over the last year or so. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel to hear that? Um, it's horrific. According to the FBI, in 2020, there were more than 7,500 reported hate crimes, the most in 12 years. Race, religion, sexual orientation, gender identity, and disability among the top motivations for hate crimes. It's been hard being a woman of color. Phoenix mom Jenny Poon says part of that solution is going more in-depth on the history of minorities in this country. Also, having conversations with your kids' teachers and not being afraid to have those discussions at home. You have a daughter? Yes. You have a little one on the way? Yes. <laughs> what is your hope for that? There's so much pride that she has in being who she is and the color that she is and the culture that she has that I hope as she grows up that schools embrace that. In July, Governor Doug Ducey signed a new law that requires Arizona students to learn about the Holocaust and other genocides. I did some digging overnight and found out there are 37 no place for hate schools right here in Arizona. So to see if your child's school makes the list, just head to abc15.com. Right now, we put together a special list. That is fantastic.